The Mitsubishi Pajero is 25 years old, a sporty off-roader which, with 12 wins, is the undisputed record winner of the Dakar Rally. The Desert Fox, Stefan Peterhansel, explains the recipe for success of the Pajero in the following report. 1.4 million cars per year, Mitsubishi is amongst the smaller manufacturers on the world market. However, the company shines with innovative strength and successes in the world of motorsport rather than size. Example, Pajero. In 1983, the new off-roader surprises the experts in the Paris-Dakar rally with a win in the production-oriented category. A significant image advance for Mitsubishi at a time when nobody had ever heard of four-wheel drive and SUVs. In the following years, the Pajero became the most successful off-road race car in the world. Twelve Dakar wins in 25 years, an unbelievable record, which one person can surely explain. The three times Dakar winner and Pajero, Stefan Peterhansel. I think experience is really important. Mitsubishi has 25 years experience in the Dakar. They are successful because they never rest on their laurels. When we won a Dakar, we didn't wait more than 15 days to find new solutions and develop the car further. Plus performante, et donc c'est ça vraiment qui est important. C'est jamais s'arrêter de travailler et toujours développer, développer, développer. Fascination Dakar. The merciless rally is seen as one of the last real motorsport adventures, almost 9,000 kilometers through Africa. The Desert Marathon started in 1978, the hardest motorsport race in the world. To win this rally is invaluable for the image of the winning car. Car manufacturers pour millions into the development of the cars and hope to become as successful as the Mitsubishi Pajero. It's all in the mix. Drivers with experience, lots of experience at Mitsubishi, in some cases over 10 years. On the other hand, there is a car that is technically so advanced already and still only an evolution of the previous one. The advances in the development are getting less and less, but Mitsubishi moves on such a high level already that it cannot be surpassed. There's no question about the drive gear. They are significantly better than any of the competition. The Pajero Evolution is the fourth development stage of the 270 horsepower strong four-wheeler. Test drives in Morocco on various surfaces, grit, sand dunes and sand tracks. Driving on any surface with top loads and new findings for the garage. Dakar's favorite is the Mitsubishi team. The Japanese have dominated the rally over the past years. Seven consecutive wins between 2001 and 2007. Three titles went to the Frenchman Stefan Peterhansel. I actually got all these wins in one leg. For the others, I just kept in touch with the other competitors and waited. I only go for it on one day. I get in front and then I defend this position until the finish line. I have used this strategy for motorbike racing and it works quite well with the cars too. Privately, the 44-year-old drives the current Pajero. And even though it doesn't have the drive of a sports car, Stefan races around quite nicely in this car. He collects about 10 speeding tickets a month. Stefan values his Pajero. The car has a good engine and a great drivetrain which is adapted to African conditions. Furthermore, our four-wheel drive has been developed and designed so well that it always has great traction on any surface. Pour avoir quatre roues motrices, nous avons un système chez Mitsubishi qui est extrêmement évolué, qui nous permet d'avoir de la motricité et une bonne traction dans toutes les circonstances. The Pajero came into this world in 1983. It gets its name from a subspecies of the Pampas cat, which lives in the inhospitable mountains of South America. Mitsubishi has sold 2.5 million Pajeros over the past 25 years. The Pajero is now in its fourth generation. It isn't and won't ever become a full-blooded sports car. The 3.2-litre diesel engine accelerates from 0 to 100 only after 13 seconds, and its top speed is 177 kilometers an hour. When you take a bend too quickly, the off-roader sometimes tilts to the side. But when the Pajero gets into the open countryside, all its off-road genes come to the forefront, like the permanent four-wheel drive with selection options. A visco clutch in the center differential variably distributes the power between front and rear axle. If necessary, the center differential can be locked. 
Thus, declines and inclines of up to 70% are no problem for the 373 nanometer strong engine. Front slope angles of 36.6 degrees and rear slope angles of 25 degrees are decent enough. Off-road, the Pajero is a power to be reckoned with. Its biggest competitor in the market is the Toyota Land Cruiser. This is a good enough reason to let them compete against each other. The common rail diesel engine of the Land Cruiser provides a steady 173 horsepower. Toyota promises a low consumption of 9 litres. Buying it is expensive. For an automatic gearbox, you need to fork out 45,000 euros. Despite greater capacity, the Pajero delivers three horsepower less. It needs exactly three seconds longer to get from zero to 100 and uses more fuel. However, it is about 4,000 euros cheaper than the Japanese countryman. Sports utility vehicle, new fashioned rubbish for these two classics. They are considered to be full-blooded off-roaders and that is traditional. The Toyota is different. It seems significantly rounder. It is eight centimeters narrower and thus more delicate than its rival. But soft looks different because the gentle metal curves hide a tough off-roader. By the way, with 5.3 million units, the most sold in the world. All predecessors built since 1951 were expedition vehicles par excellence, and you could just not bring them to their knees. Its robustness and reliability also gave the Toyota its nickname, Bush Taxi. The Pajero uses the lockable center and rear axle differential as well as off-road gear reduction. A plus point for the Pajero compared to the Land Cruiser is the independent wheel suspension at the rear axle which improves the traction off-road. Off-road the Pajero wins by a nose. Toyota has already arrived at the top European level. Perfect workmanship, fine materials. The good old Land Cruiser has been hit by luxury. On the outside, an off-roader. On the inside, a chauffeur-driven limousine. However, all this comes at a price. Toyota asks 45,000 euros for its automatic model, up to 55,000 euros for the top model, executive. The Pajero presents itself much grittier. Dark materials peppered with aluminium provide a cool look. This is a car for the guys that know how to do a thing or two. However, you need a well-stocked bank account. Mitsubishi springs for the air conditioning and the CD radio, but the high-level equipment in tents and in style, you need to put down up to 49,000 euros. The optional built-in satellite navigation system for 2,550 euros is not included in this price. Off-road, both are a power to be reckoned with. But now these Japanese mountain goats have to prove themselves on the road as well. High body work, lots of weight. With its 2.3 tons, the Pajero is not in a good position for the dynamic excursions on asphalt. However, the Pajero gets plus points in this class with its direct and pinpoint steering. We get into the other car, and the spongy and more imprecise steering of the Toyota stands out immediately. The Land Cruiser is designed for comfort on the road. In fast bends, the high bodywork sways significantly more than the Mitsubishi, even with the optional air shock absorbers on board. A weak point, the brakes, inconsistent and without bite. The common rail direct injection makes a good impression. It does its job quietly and pushes the 100 kilo lighter Toyota from 0 to 100 in 11.2 seconds. This is 3 seconds faster than its rival. Better on the road, the rough and ready chap with the tense charm, the Pajero. It benefits from its off-road capacity, its firm drive gear and the modern interior. However, the lack of visibility in urban traffic and the high consumption are less attractive. At the end of the day, the Toyota is left behind. The Pajero transfers its remarkable off-road character quite grittily onto the road, a real car for any surface. The steel tube frames increase the safety and prevent bad injuries in the Rally Pajero MPR13, which has nothing in common anymore with the series production. Every screw, every piece of sheet metal, the drive gear, the electrics and safety systems are specially built into the Rally car.
Everybody wants to drive the Mitsubishi because they have the most experience, reliability and performance, especially for the Dakar. Mitsubishi has a tough car, a good team and good results. Money is also available. It's a winning team. I want to stay with them. The famous Dakar rally, currently the most important event for Mitsubishi. The corporation always wants to win against the competition. Nothing is left to chance. An army of service personnel and trucks repair the damaged cars during the two racing weeks in January. The service trucks race in the lorry category. Background, participants are allowed to help each other. Thus the trucks can repair the Pajero anywhere on the track and not just overnight. Exception, as Peter Hansel's co-pilot Cotre is a mechanic, he was able to take out the broken clutch, repair it and put it back in during a breakdown in 2007. Their head start was enough to give Peter Hansel the third title within four years. Mitsubishi realized its dream of winning Dakar 12 times, but the competition is getting closer every year. In 2007, Peter Hansel didn't win one single leg, but it is still enough to win the title at the end. In 2009, the new diesel race Lancer completely failed during the Dakar rally. Only 10th place, a disaster. A little while later, Mitsubishi announced its withdrawal from the Dakar rally. The reason? The global economic and financial crisis. The company did make a loss of 60 billion euros. The Pajero and Lancer may no longer compete in races, but their presence on the road is guaranteed.